daily vlogging. Yeah, I mean, when I when I was doing it, it wasn't like a a thing as like it is now. Like everybody and their mom's daily it's the vlogging. Hot thing now. Yeah, that's actually true. Logan, yeah. Paul, Jake, and their mom. <laughs> yeah, really, that's literally yeah. everyone and their mom. It's yeah. not even uh, when I analogy. when I started. It was Charles Trippy and Shay Carl oh, were the wow. only guys that really did it on the internet, and they kind of inspired me. And um, rest in peace, Shay Carl. Yeah, I haven't spoken to him in a while, but. He's like the OG of the daily vlog, and Charles Charles Trippy hasn't actually missed the day to this day. He's been going like ten years straight. That is bananas. How? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I lost my mind after six. So, <laughs> well, um, I, I was telling you, me and Ela did daily videos on our second channel, Ethan and Ela, for thirty days, and we almost got a divorce. <laughs> yeah, it's it's stressful and it's it's, it's a lot. But you, like, you can't live your life. There's no yeah, way. Yeah, like there's no way. Well, you start blurring the lines between reality and and yeah. what's going through this camera lens and how you're pres like living life. So it's almost like, am I doing this because I want to do this? Am I doing this because I'm making a video? Right. And if you do it every day, bro, that's gonna just Damn. mess your mental health up. I'm pretty sure. So, like, how was your relationship at the like throughout all that? Like, you guys were doing it for how long? The day yeah, we did, like, six years straight. And, I mean, it was great. Everything was fine. We were doing, I mean, the benefits of it, we, we were, like, doing a lot more stuff than we wouldn't have done. Mm -hmm. You know, we would have sat on the couch that day. Instead, we got outside and did something we yeah. were doing. So it was it was really good for that. We we uh, I experienced more than I'm sure a lot of people have ever experienced in, in their six years because I was always trying to do something different every day. Um, but, like putting your life on the internet and having people comment on how you should live your life and mm -hmm. you actually doing it, you know, every day, bro, is not healthy. So but at what point did it start to feel like this is not healthy anymore? Like when my mom passed away and I'm like going like, what the fuck am I doing? Like I should be spending more time with family than like figuring out how I'm going to make another video every day or, or like, I need to just stop living through this camera lens and just live life without it and just and that's that's when I was just like I just stopped it after that because mm -hmm. I'm just like what am I gonna vlog tomorrow my mom just passed away yeah. am I gonna fucking get on camera and act all happy I'm like fuck this and I just, but what is it or that, even like, if you want to be sad that's also not yeah. it's not, not really yeah. something to you know, show. and I didn't want to exactly. share like yeah. my personal yeah. shit you know I'm like I'm done I can't do it anymore like mm -hmm. this is too personal so that was the breaking point yeah. when your mom passed yeah. away and it was like no more daily. But you vlogged? But How long did you vlog after that happened? After she passed away? I think I stopped right after oh, that. Oh, that you yeah, stopped right after? Yeah, I think I didn't. And then what, what happened when... No, actually, no, I did vlog a little bit after that. I did. I did, but, like... It wasn't There daily. was a big secret, I'm not going to say on here, but, like, me and my relationship, my life was, like, not the same. That's the internet thought it was. So we, you mean like, your marital or your yeah, your like my life? my situation with my ex and all, like we were kind of keeping a lot of things personal, mm -hmm. and then we finally released to the internet, like we were actually broken up. Mm -hmm. So you guys were leading on that it was all good for the vlogs. yeah for a while, yeah, and it was like this is we got to just not. yeah, and I felt like that was just not healthy for us too, as a like trying to grow and figure things out. So you had mentioned something to me previously when we were chatting that I thought was really interesting about like I think you were talking about like I want to get a dog. But I didn't know if I want the dog for the vlog or for myself. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was really interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, I do want a dog, but I would vlog the shit out of the dog because I think it'd be great <laughs> content. But, um, but I, I'm just so busy. So, but I do want a dog. But I got a roommate now, so I might put it on him when I travel. <laughs> How bad do you think it is? Because there's some daily vloggers. Do you ever think that it goes to the point where you're like, are we having this kid for the vlog or because I want more kids? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's it's scary to think about. But I, that's got to be something. I mean, I guarantee in the back of someone's brain that's a daily vlogger, and if they have a child, they're already thinking, "Ooh, more views, more views," and like that. Well, you okay, even have you know, that I'm gonna say it. You know, I'm saying Roman Antwood, dude, had fucking kids. Uh huh. He put this guy. It's so bad for him that he had a new kid, mm. and they had a live stream. When the baby was born, Did to decide he? the baby's name. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> his fans decided his baby's name in Gross. a live stream. That's how Whoa. bad it's gotten for this dude. Mm -hmm. And I, when I watch Roman Atwood, I'm like, these guys all hate each other. There's no, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's scary. I see business. You got to be careful with that. Like, that, I mean. 
Smile more, my dog. Live streamed it? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He had a, I saw it on Twitter, so I'm not 100% sure, but what I no, saw, it, he I'm, said, we're naming our, come help us name our new baby. Yeah. And it seemed like a whole promotion for, like, Live Now. Yeah, I saw it, oh. too. He's, like, I, streaming on at Live Now, naming our new baby. So it's like he got a sponsorship. Yeah. Honey, it's we're going to lose this Gerber sponsorship. You know, like, so, we some people put one in. used to want to sponsorship me proposing to my girl. Mm -hmm. That is Crazy Whoa, amounts you, of money, and I was like, "There's no way that's are not you, are genuine." Are you comfortable saying how much they offer? Because I, I think I find that fascinating to know. Uh, it wasn't a set amount yet, but it was it was going to be dumb money. How can you ballpark? Like, if you're comfortable, it. Like uh, um, I don't remember exactly. How many I don't months of sit. rent? Give me a guess. Give me a yeah. <laughs> number. It was definitely in like the six figure. Ooh. Nice. God. So a lot, yeah, like a lot of fucking money to like yeah. buy that, um, to that to like monetize the proposal and everything. And I'm just like, no, I can't even ask me that. that that's know? a yeah. That's a shitty thing to ask. Yeah. Like, can we just fucking completely attach you? puppet strings to you <laughs> and just tell you how the fuck? Like, we're not happy but the with guy your proposal. Asked, the guy that ideas. was in the circle, he, he's the guy that's like we're kind of close with friends. But I was just like, I remember like my lawyer was like, dude, what the fuck? I'm not gonna ask you this, but they're just asking, talking about this. I'm like, no, and it was just like, yeah, and that, that was a problem with our relationship. Is like I was getting so much pressure to getting married. I'm like, yeah. am I getting married because y'all wanted me to get married? Right. Or am I getting married because I want to get married? Like, right. what's happening here? God forbid so, you have a fucking terminal illness or something. They'll want to like live stream your death. <laughs> Get it sponsored oh by God. like fucking Gatorade. This chemotherapy session is sponsored yeah. by Gatorade. Yeah, I mean, it's just you got to be careful with that. And I think like people just don't care. They just want anything they can do. And it's like it's like you sell your soul. And I can almost admit that I sold my. I feel like I we sold our relationship mm. for the internet. I feel wow. like that happened. How do you feel about your fans, the people who consume that content? Do you resent it at all? No, I mean like... they're just they're just they're just going with the flow. It's like they get the inside window into someone's life, and it's just... like it's like a friendship. Like they don't know, they don't know the the mm. struggles and what right, really right, goes right. inside yeah. of someone's right. head, and they don't know what it's like to get their life commented on. They just know what it's like to comment. Right, you know what I mean? Right, so right, right. it's hard to for them to understand. But that, that like insatiable, the like desire they had to like consume oh my god sorry at a windows moment <laughs> windows, windows 10. 10 is stealing can you fuck out of my life windows <clears throat> i fucking hate that anyway that insatiable desire your fans have to like consume the most personal like the more yeah. personal the more vulnerable the yeah, better for them the more they like it i mean it's like uh it's like the truman show